In this video, you'll review what perimeter and area mean, learn the formulas for perimeter area, and be able to solve problems using the different formulas. Perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. When we find the perimeter of a figure, we add the lengths of all the sides. And it's important that we add up all the sides and not just some of them. We can write a formula to show how to find the perimeter of a square and the perimeter of a rectangle. A formula is a rule. So let's look at this square. We know that for a shape to be a square, it has to have four equal sides. For this square, all the sides are two feet. To find the perimeter, I need to add all four sides up. So two plus two plus two plus two equals eight. Well, I can use multiplication to make that simpler. I'm adding two four times, so I can also say four times two equals eight. So for a square, the rule or the formula is that P equals four times S. What that means is that the perimeter equals four times the length of each side. So the formula for the perimeter of a square is P equals 4 times S. Let's look at a rectangle. This rectangle is not a square. All four sides are not the same length. I know that if a shape is a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. So if the top side is 8 feet, the opposite side is also 8 feet. That means the other two sides are both two feet. To find the perimeter, I need to add all the sides up. So eight plus eight plus two plus two. Eight and eight is 16, two and two is four, and 16 plus four equals 20. I could also say two times eight plus two times two equals 20. The rule or the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is P equals two times L plus two times W. That means the perimeter is two times the length plus two times the width. So all we're doing is we're doubling the length, we're doubling the width, and we're adding them together to find the perimeter. Area is the amount of space inside a shape, and we measure it in square units. So for our square from earlier, we can draw a picture to help us, especially using the grid paper. The area is how many feet are inside that figure. So Notice that we made an array here, two going across and two going down. And if I count inside, there are four squares inside the shape. We would say that the area is four square feet. We find the area by multiplying the two sides together. So the formula for area is A equals length times width. So for this square, area equaled 2 times 2. So the area was 4. These were feet, and for area, we're always going to say square and then whatever we're measuring in. So this one we were measuring in feet, so it was four square feet. I could also abbreviate that. Four, I could abbreviate square with SQ and feet with FT. So for our rectangle, the length is two and the width is eight. So if our formula or our rule says that area is length times width, then we're just going to plug the numbers in. So for this rectangle, the area is 2 times 8. 
or 8 times 2. It doesn't matter what order I put my numbers in when I multiply. So the area is 16, and I would say 16 square feet. Okay, let's practice with a couple more examples. Let's say that I want to plant a garden in my backyard. And if my garden measures 4 feet by 6 feet, how many square feet of soil do I need? So I want to know how many square feet of soil do I need? So this problem is asking about the inside of the garden. The inside. We want to know how many square feet of soil I would need to put down for my garden. Well, we know that the formula for area, and I'm going to back up. I know I'm looking for area because I'm looking for the inside, so that means I need to find the area of the figure. So the formula for area is length times width. So I'm going to plug my numbers in. The area equals 6 times Four. So the area is 24 square feet. Let's say for that same garden, I now want to build a fence to go around it. And I want to know how many feet of fencing will I need. So how many feet of fencing will I need to put a fence around my garden? Well, if I'm putting a fence around it, then I am going to be looking for the perimeter because now I'm going around the outside of the figure. And the garden is a rectangle. So remember that our formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is we're going to do 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So I'm just going to plug in the numbers for my garden. So I'm going to do 2 times 6 plus 2 times 4. So I am going to do 12 plus 8 which equals 20. So I would need 20 feet of fencing. When we're doing perimeter, we're not going to put the word square because we're not talking about the squares inside the shape. We're just talking about around the outside.